All right, so here I am in America, uh, about to appear in the mate Ricky's new film. I mean, I, I say appear, I mean, blink and you'll miss me, to be honest. I've come all this way, like seven hours on a plane. I haven't even got a speaking part. It's just sort of being an extra. I mean, they sort of say, to be a good extra, you know, it's all about sort of being in the background and not being seen. And, you know, I, I could have stayed in London to do that. Not only that, but he's got me dressed up like a right knobhead. I shouldn't have agreed to do it. <laughs> You're supposed to be my friend. There's a caveman scene. We tried hard to make the, all the cavemen look the same. And then I thought it'd be good to see a bald one. Purely my own amusement. Just, just to fly Carl out under false pretenses. And then um, I had it all ready for him. I made his skin slightly smaller than everyone else's so he looked stupid. I had a wig with a top cut out. His head looked particularly round and we gave him a little prehistoric comb over. They gave me £80 million pounds to spend, so there was a bit left over to get a little bald man involved. There was loads going on down on the set. You know, Ricky was really busy. If we do me here, then we're fine, aren't we? Yeah. Then that'll that match. He was up to his eyes in it. But there was nothing for me to do. I don't know why they called for me so early. So I just thought I'd use this time to break my new shoes in. Beast is a danger. <gasps> I find it just as easy as, as directing for TV, if not a little bit easier, because you've got a bigger budget, you've got more people who want to put your vision on celluloid. And I, I try and always do my own thing, and that, that excites me more. It just excites me more. The creative process excites me more than seeing my fat face on a big film. We're going to do pick well, we'll anyway, and we can come back and forth. I really don't know how this sort of making films thing has, has caught on. I've been here now, it's about quarter to four. Started at seven this morning. One scene isn't even done yet. If this happened on, like, the first movie ever made, you'd go, forget it, it's not worth it. Eventually, my big moment arrived. Well, I say big moment. Carl, um, come to this side oh, and be last. <laughs> and don't do any grunts. Whatever they're doing, you just look confused, but you do not know what's happening, OK? Whatever they do, just look at them doing it. Whatever they say, you don't quite understand it. Just, just, just be yourself, basically. I think it cope very well, because he's got to play um, a stupid Neanderthal who doesn't understand what's going on. I think he can do that. I think he's been working towards this role all his life. <laughs> so this is it. This is me acting. Can you tell? Go. Move, 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 stop, bump. Carl, look at me, look around. Look, at that's fantastic. That was amazing. <laughs> is that any good? No, no, it's quite good. So you, I don't know if that was any good or not. I mean, the odd thing with acting is you, you don't know if it looked any good or not because you can't see what you're doing. It's like watching them there. I, I mean, do, do they think they look good? So I thought I'd ask a couple of the pros what they made of my performance. Can I show you what I did? I went... I don't believe a word of it. I don't believe anything about it. Really? In fact, this interview is over. Why? Get away from me. Walk away. I do it great. Oh, my gosh. You didn't see my bit, did you? You didn't see my bit. How did it go? Do a little bit for me right now. Show me, give me just a little bit of it. Everyone was sort of making their noises, and I had to go... Like that. that was it? Just now? Just that? That bit was it? Well, that's good. If you didn't recognise it was acting, that's, well, that's I guess good, that, isn't it? Uh, hey, who am I to judge? I mean, I'll do it again now, you do know, like it's acting. It looks like you're looking for where the coffee is. Is that, is that bad? I mean, now it seems like you're just criticising it because you were shocked how good it was the first time. I love it. I give it the thumbs up. I was just hanging out when I was called back to the set because they needed me to do nothing again. And according to the experts, doing nothing badly, which didn't make me feel that good. Some people would dream, you know, to be in this situation, but for me, it was more of a nightmare. If this is Hollywood, forget it. Do you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not interested. This just stressed him out for a week. If it, if it did him any good, it would defeat the object, because I like to see Carl complaining and whinging. That's what friends are for. <laughs> <laughs>